Welcome back to more Elden Ring. Time for us to take on the final part of Stormvale Castle. I don't know if we'll include Godric in this episode. I guess it'll depend on how long it takes us to get through the initial part, taking on the ulcerated tree sprint. Plus, I'd like to have Godric be at the start of an episode rather than the end, so maybe we will just pass him on to his own episode. Just to make it easy for people to find. In any case, we just kind of head on out here. Um, it's gone back to night time again. Let's put this on. Maybe it's just because we are uh, fast traveling around. So lots of pots here. Little baby ones. They are aggressive, so we just need to deal with them. Obviously, you can see the big one in the back now is on its way. If I remember rightly, I don't think it can actually fit through this doorway very well. Where is it? There's my doorway. So we can uh, kind of be a little bit mean and just stand in a place where it's going to struggle to get to us. Like so. The main reason you want to clear your way down here is this um, purple one on the left I think is a yeah cracked pot. I don't think it's two. Is it two? It is two. There we go. I don't know why I thought that he dropped one of them but I guess it's just on the ground. Next up then, um, it's kind of like a weird loop of the area so we kind of have to go this way uh, and then we're just gonna jump off up to here should have got that really but we're doing this now so we did the jump trick there that I keep on using just to kind of make it across it makes it a little bit easier for me gets us across to this platform break stuff. I can't remember exactly what all of the uh, consumables and stuff would be. Let's, uh, can I get you from here? That'd be lovely if I could. Not quite. Oh yeah, there we go. That's handy. <laughs> uh, and then we'll come across to this. Smithy Stone 2s. Oh, that actually means we can get the rapier up again. That's very nice. This is up to plus seven. Bin's upgraded this in the interim. Nothing good happened in the round table hold, so we didn't miss out on anything there. Which is nice. It just means that if we do go in for a crit with the rapier, it'll hurt a bit more. Which is realistically all it's for right now. And I think the Missouri cord is equipable. So we may switch to the dagger. Is it lighter? It is lighter. 0.5. <laughs> I think you're struggling like I am for weight. That 0.5 can make all the difference. We still don't actually have a helmet on. That's the hilarious thing. We can't actually fit on any headpiece. So I may actually have to make my next point stamina based. I think. Deal with you. There's your friend. Hello. Most of them don't aggro, but some of them do, so I don't know exactly which ones are which, so we just want to be not really allowing for free hits on ourselves. Tower shield, excuse me, you're going down. A mess I don't know if there's been a message here. Loot. And then along this. We are down into some serious like hidden belly areas. I don't know why we have to get up on the uh, wall for that rune. It's probably not really worth the risk of falling off. Rainbow stones. I think the first ones we've had. I should explain about those. So there's a good thing about the rainbow stones. If you ever are confused or unsure about a drop, here's a probably a good example, right? So if we drop one of those off here, 
it lands just fine like that. That means it's not an auto death. If you drop it off somewhere like here, that means it's an auto death if you drop off. Now, just because it does land doesn't mean you'll always survive. Sometimes, obviously, you might just have not have enough health for it. But um, just a, a nice little tool to have on you sometimes. This is the grace that we set off from, and the door that I said we'd be going back through. It means we are pretty close. To where we want to be. Now, you may have just seen the bat on the underneath. They are going to aggro on us, so we need to be careful. As we come across. Terry Leaf. I don't know whether we should do the crazy run around or just fight the Ghost Rate Beast. It does make the video longer, but I feel like people like cheese methods more, so I think that's what I'm going to do. And then if you guys want to fight it fair, you can fight it fair. I'm sure there's one more that likes to try and knock you off in here, and I can't remember where it is. <laughs> Get ready to see me die. I'm, I'm predicting it now. The positive one's going to come and knock me off. Smithing Stone 2 is excellent. Don't know how many of those we have. How many of those we have? Oh no, it's 2's we've got plenty of. It's 3's that we need more of. Right now. So, now we're going to make our way down. To the bottom. We're going to see rats. Where are they? I thought they came. I thought they were closer than that. I thought they were supposed to try and trap us. No? We do have a big one down here, so we have to be careful of that. We're still just shy of one shot. It's so annoying. <laughs> Game, right? Yes, big rat. I knew you were coming. Don't worry. Nope. Now, ordinarily, if you're coming down here to face the streets, the uh, ulcerated tree spirit, um, you'll want to run past all these rats. You really don't want to be wasting FP resources and time. Although this is a good place for me. We want this. Give me them flasks back. Oh no, it's Ragpole. Okay. Ragpole. I thought that was going to give us give some flasks back. Guess not. I don't think I did a video for that either. Huh. Okay. If there's ever been a clue that when you drop down here it's going to be a boss fight, that's the uh, that's all the obvious clue stuff. Okay. Well, let's just see how it is fighting it. If I die, well, I'll show you guys the uh, the cheese method. There's no help with this one. Um, oh wow, look at the damage soon. I'm already persuaded. Right, cheese it is. See you later. Bye. 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 I don't want anything to hit me. It hits me again, I'm dead. But we're just going to come to this ladder at the back end of the room. And that's going to cause it to stay out. Now note that we need to, to not die as we make our way back round to where that is. If you die, you'll have to come back and restart the run. But at this point, I'm pretty much safe, so you can't get us right now. Also, if you quit out or reset for any reason, it's just going to go back underground. But it is now set down there. Which is good. This is a long ladder. I don't remember how long this was. <laughs> Probably could have fought it, but... It's just such a horrible fight. I think that's probably the only one this early in the game don't give you a summon for. So you should kind of recognise where we are. Right, so we're going to have to go up this lift. I feel like this, this game's got such a good musical score. I don't know why, I just like it a lot. Then we're out this way. I'm going to take my 
So favourite jump. I think we've done this jump at least once every video that we've been in here. <laughs> uh, off we go. If that was ever if there was ever gonna be a time where I was gonna miss it, I was positive it was gonna be that time. Uh we, I don't know if you can get over there. I've never tried getting over onto that part of the roof before. We'll go the, we'll go the way I know. I'm not gonna make stuff up as we as we go on here. Sometimes when I go through when I re go through areas I like spot things and I'm like, ooh. Is that a, is that a different way? Is there is there even better ways through it? There's always better ways through this game. It's so good. Always new little bits to find. So I'm going to attempt to be risky here. We're just going to run past everything. here, top of here, now we're back to where the grace was. Good thing is, um, bats are all dead. So now we just need to successfully not fall. Oh, oh, <laughs> otherwise it's a long reset from this point onwards. This is where that bat's going to come that I thought was going to get me earlier. Let's hope this hasn't been patched. There's been at least two patches since I did this. Cool, well, we're all the way down. This thing has no evasion moves, so it is a matter of... I can still hear it, that's a good sign. Yep, there it is. Cool, so you can fire these at it as much as you want. Um, if you get it to be out of combat with you, there is absolutely nothing wrong with crafting some fire bombs. You know, maybe you want to equip some some throwing knives, whatever you want. Plenty of options for putting range damage on it. Wow, well, throwing knives don't actually count this range. Oh, it does. <laughs> the fun thing is, it really doesn't have much it can do this high. Come Come on, hit it. Just how much of its body is iframes? That's crazy. Yep, we don't have to put up with any of that right now. Excuse me. No trying to de aggro. That's not allowed. <laughs> does this reach over there? Oh, it does. It's handy. Have you given up, have you? That's what we'd like to see. Just give up and accept your fate. I didn't actually know that it would just stand still like that. Oh, there we go, it's reactivated, but too late. Goodbye, thanks for the golden seed. So I was going to fight it, but, you know, it hit me, so I thought, you know, we'll, uh, we'll show the cheese after all. Some sort of key. Oh, rebates is the one that we used earlier. That's rather nice. So we used to be... <laughs> that's really not worth it when I think about it. So you get golden seed and stone sword key. Is that everything down here? I can't remember if it is. Oh, Prince of Death Plus Jewel. Okay, we will get that as well. Cool, that's going to be everything. So now we can go back up to the left side chamber, Grace. We're just going to quickly nip on out to the right hand side here so that we can grab 
this. And there's one last bit that we need to clear, and that's probably going to make this episode mostly perfect. Which is good. Let's spend those points. I want that point of endurance, please. I really want to be able to put that hood on. Yes! Excellent! So now we have... Oh, it doesn't look very good though, does it? Yes. Ah, oh, I can't have any trousers on. It does go fine with the Exile set, but... Nah, it's not gonna work, is it? Like, it's fine at all. Travelers definitely looks better. Right? Yeah, we're not wearing sandals. Uh, so we're, we're in weight for what I want. This just does not... I don't like it. It doesn't look, it doesn't look very good for me. So, so if you care about stats more than how you look, this hood is plus one to um, plus one to your vigor, so more health. But I can't do it to myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't do it. Fashion is fashion. So we're gonna call the lift back down, and we'll head for the next grace. Um, and this is probably. The first place, if you want to have like somewhere you'll get a few runes without too much trouble, this is probably a decent place for it. I quite like it for damage testing as well, because there's a big squish, a uh, big fleshy uh, troll slash giant right where the grace is. So if you like want to test gear um, setups just to see what damage difference you're gonna make, but big land right there, look, just begging to be hit by stuff, um, and I quite like it for that. So we just need to tag this. I don't need to rest. We haven't done anything risky. So we're just going to come out here. Feed this. Oh, we can summon here as well. This is new as well. We didn't, weren't able to summon here before. They've really added a lot more places to summon. I, I, I quite like it. It's not a complaint. Um, I think they should just allow it all the time. Uh, but uh, it's just interesting that we were here before. They haven't even aggroed on me. I want to get them all, so let's do that. Now, obviously, that giant we just defeated there is what you have to kite all the way back around. Right, and, and let's consider... It wasn't just that little party of enemies there, right? We've got somebody down here who's got this. Uh, but also, the birds down here. These are the annoying fire ones, by the way. Oh, damn it. No. So, I just... I don't know. I just don't think it's worth the hassle. I really don't. If it's worth it to you, go ahead. <laughs> it's not worth it for me. Out better than I thought it would do. See, so yeah, you'd have to count all the way down here, all the way to the statue down there. So you'd have to clear like all this out and then bring the giant down. Mm. I don't know if that's worth it. I just don't know if that's worth it. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Not for me. In any case, we're going to go into this little bit. Here we have Nefeli. Cool, so we talked to her, and now we have a summon for Godric, which is kind of nice. I don't think she's particularly essential, especially as we have Lutl at our disposal. We have another seed. This should put us on enough for another flask. I think. Oh no, it doesn't need three. I'm down one. Mm, I should think about getting extra. Nah, let's not. Let's not. Seven flasks. I think I used... No, must be more than that, because I have more blue than red, so run like nine flasks out of 14. So, realistically speaking, even if you try and push it out even further, you only get a maximum of 14 flasks, so just bear that in mind. It's really not going to be 
ground breaking to get too many extra seeds from this point. So we finally have a complete armor set on. <laughs> I think that's a, that's a first or game. Yay, the basics. Where if that hits? That look good on, on me. Nope. <laughs> Freaking Hennis. Is that like Hessian sack or something? Too heavy. It's got to be silk or nothing. Uh, either way, that closes out this episode. We've done everything here, which is good. Next episode, then we'll uh, defeat Godric and take his soul to. I like, saw this rune to this tower over here. Last a few giants. So it's probably going to be a fairly short episode in the next one. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the series still, and I'll see you all again soon.